It's very common for people to think that muscle testing is kinesiology. I just want to put this straight. Muscle testing is one of the tools we use in kinesiology. There's a whole heap of other techniques and uh, reflexes and things that make up kinesiology. But every kinesiologist, if they are doing kinesiology, will use muscle testing as part of their kinesiology. But I just want to go through muscle testing. There's three different types of muscle testing, three main types of muscle testing. The first is what um, physiotherapists and occupational therapists learn. And that may have changed, but the last time I looked, they were learning that. And um, this is why they don't understand kinesiology, because they learn this one little piece of muscle testing and they think that's, that is it. And then they wonder, how can kinesiologists actually help someone? Well, all they do is they'll take, let's say it was an injured shoulder, they'll say, right, yeah, let's take that up there. I want you to hold that up there. Now, if I press on that and ask your hands to hold that, and I put pressure on that, that's holding real easy. So that's a strength test. There's, I would give that a five out of five. Let's let this go when I do it. Now, if I press this and say hold, and I and this is, you know, she can't even hold a little finger, that's pretty much a zero. She can't even hold that up there, it just flops down by itself. That's a zero. If I hold, hold it up there and just a little bit of pressure and then it goes and she can't hold it up, that's a one. And etc. all the way to the five. So that's a strength test there. Now, one of the other types is I'm just using a muscle, any muscle will do, and I'm just asking it for questions. So I can ask and ask what the emotion is around the problem. I can ask to find out the best wording for an affirmation or whatever I want to do. And the first thing I'll be looking for is when the muscle lets go, that's showing that there's a stress. Because the first thing that happens when we go into stress is the muscles let go. The body doesn't understand what's going on. It's a safety mechanism. So it doesn't want you to cause injury to that muscle. So when the body goes into stress, it lets the muscle go. As the kinesiologist, that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for that to let go. As soon as it lets go, it means there's a stress, and then what we're doing together will actually tell us what that stress is, and then we can go do something about it. So that is called that is our indicator muscle. So the first one that we talked about was a stress, uh, sorry, it was a strength test, one to five, a uh, zero to five in ranking. The second one was asking questions. That's using an indicator muscle. And the third style of, of uh, muscle testing is what I call muscle meridian interface. So I'm looking at, for example, the muscle and the meridian that it belongs to, which also shares the same energy as the organ. So this little muscle here comes from up the collarbone, comes down to the front of the arm. That's called the anterior deltoid. That shares the same energy as the gallbladder meridian. And the gallbladder meridian also feeds the gallbladder. Another example would be the upper trapezius muscle. The upper trapezius runs from the neck down to C7 and comes across and down to the top of the shoulder blade area. So that muscle is fed by the kidney meridian, but it also shares the same energy from that kidney meridian as the eyes and the ears. So the upper trapezius muscle is fed by the kidney meridian. So the kidney meridian is the interface between the muscle and the organ, which in this case, the organ is the eyes and the ears. So the same energy that feeds the um, upper trapezius muscle also feeds the eyes and the ears. Where the psoas muscle, which is a muscle that goes from the lower back to the front of the leg in here, is also shares the same energy as the actual kidney. But the kidney meridian feeds the kidney and the psoas muscle. The kidney meridian also feeds the upper trapezius muscle and the eyes and the ears. So the link between the upper trapezius and the actual kidney organ is far less than what it is between the eyes and the ears because of that interface.